Dear colleagues, I honestly unsure if the European Commission fully comprehends the extent of the damage it has done by giving in to Viktor Orban's blackmail. Because it invited not just Orban, but every single aspiring, aspiring European autocrat to follow the same old extortionist tactics. Destroy democracy, weaken the EU from the inside, wave around the veto card, and when the time comes, just be ready to accept huge sums of money and accept the humiliation of being sent out of the room to go to the bathroom or have a coffee. Congratulations, amazing achievement. But you know, there is also an even more serious problem here. Uh, you, with this decision, open the door wide open for even further abuse. Just consider what happened right before the EU decided to unblock billions of euros to the Orban government and praise them for this great progress in rebuilding the rule of law. On the very same day, Hungary introduced the so-called Sovereignty Protection Bill, a piece of legislation that is shockingly oppressive even with the Orban regime standards. This law threatens journalists and civil society organizations with jail time for participating in international funding programs. Its intention is crystal clear to crush dissent, to silence independent media and threaten opposition parties or anybody who would like to stand up against this regime. And I'm seriously asking this. Does the Commission view this as progress? Do you think this deserves a reward? Because this is the signal that you just sent. You practically gave a green light to this law. And as so often before, the European Parliament will not stay silent. We will remain the only protector of democratic values among the EU institutions. We will see you in Thank court. You Thank you very much.